Hey guys, this is Chad, and it's December 1st, and I'm going to attempt a 31-day challenge. Every day in December of 2019, I'm going to try to create a new terrain using a new tool I bought. Purchased the Polaris version 2 Ultimate Low Poly Terrain Engine. I've only been using it for, well, about two days, I guess. And I've kind of got the grasp, but terrain editing has always been very difficult for me. And so I want to spend the next 31 days actually creating something unique and cool each, each day and really learning the power of, of creating levels. Whenever people think of game development, they usually think of level design. But there's a lot more to game development than just level design, which I've kind of put off on the back burner, uh, learning skills like programming, 3D modeling, texturing, etc. So it's kind of back to the basics of creating a level design in a terrain editor Fortunately, similar workflow as the Unity terrain system, and uh, see what I can come up with. So, here's day one of 31. Okay, so as proof of my endeavor for the next 31 days, I have here my terrain data, which has a few preloaded terrains that I have actually worked on, and I am deleting the folder. So, with that said, I'm going to go ahead and get started by creating my first terrain my challenge. I'm going to use the wizard. I'm going to use splat maps. Splat 4 is fine. I don't know what all the differences are. And there we go. So also because this is the first video I don't want to spend a lot of time on it. I'm not importing my own textures or assets that will spawn. I'm just going to use what came with the Polaris terrain engine. So with that said, let's see here. Expand. I, I need to give it some color. Increase the radius to something large. So I can quickly paint this. And so I have no idea of what I'm actually going to create for this first level. Hmm. And I will probably fast forward this through the actual editing. Okay, so I decided to fast forward a little bit because, well, watching me spend 15 minutes in real time creating a level, you know, days after I actually created it is pretty boring, I, I do admit that. I didn't really have anything meaningful to say while I was developing, otherwise it was mostly me just cussing under my breath that I did not like what I had created. I just don't have a good feel for the opacity slider, which measures, you know, how fast to draw something. Uh, the lower the opacity, the slower the elevation will rise and everything. But I just could not get a good feel. And that's kind of expected for my first attempt um, at creating a terrain that I'm developing and recording and going to share with you guys. Uh, but I, I do have higher standards for, for myself, but I didn't want to spend a lot of time using assets made or included into included in the asset. Uh, going forward, I will probably import my own assets, my own foliage and trees, etc. To, to kind of give it a more unique look. You can see I, I painted some foliage, um, I planted some trees. I have a huge hill right there, I have no idea what that is. See, you can see me kind of face falling as I'm not happy where things are going. Okay, after about 15 minutes, this is what I've come up with. Uh, not my greatest level I've ever created, but it satisfies 
it satisfies my criteria for what I want to do with this series. I have a lot of room for improvement, and uh, I'm looking forward to the next 30 days of creating a terrain and a video to go with it to show my progress. If you have Polaris Low Poly Engine version 2, or some skill with Unity's terrain, let me know some tips and tricks to, to create more of a rolling plane terrain instead of just this mountainous area. I, I need to watch some tutorials because I'm just at a loss and all of the terrains I create end up looking something like this mess. So I'm, I'm looking for some input too guys. If, if you know of anything please let me know and uh, tune back in tomorrow for tomorrow's update where I'm, I'm creating a another terrain, maybe an island, like a tropical island or something. So, thanks for watching, hit like and subscribe to stay up to date on all my indie game news and uh, developments, and I will catch you next time.